Hello there, everyone. Welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Apple. This was the Stock Swish show play of the day today, and man, did it work out beautifully. But it did take all day. <laughs> so while I'm known for fast trades and fast trading and doing shorts, and shorts usually go quickly, that was not the case with this today. Not at all. Um, but it definitely paid off. It definitely paid off. So let's take a look at it. First of all, gap down. Apple was earnings. Closed the night before at 191.17. Boom. Open in the morning. Open at 185.52. Then it rallied. We actually did an ad. Oops, let me get this. It actually didn't. We did an ad in this today, which, which also really paid off. And I was patient with this. Really super patient. Open, rallied. We got it. Got the drop, then I said we could do the ad. It was still early enough, but it really didn't break down. Actually, it was like around 130, 145. And of course the market fell too. So it while we were up in this train for, for a long, 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 long time, the profit, the real profit, didn't come until late in the afternoon, really pretty much into three o'clock. And you could have even held this into the close. So I had 100% conviction. I stayed with this. Some people got out quick in the morning when it dropped in here and you could have made money. You could have made like a dollar plus in there from where we did it. Um, I also called a put in this, which was really, really good. And you could have got out of it or you could still be in it. Look at the volume here in this today. Wow. So again, I really like this gap. But unfortunately, this morning, initially, the market was up. The market was tried to rally. It did rally at one point, And so it held this up from falling off a cliff. I'm glad we got it. It was a beautiful, beautiful trade. The ad helped. An ad is something where I'm adding to a position, keeping the stop at the original place. Now we did lower this at one point, but still it was, it was at the original placement, which means we're basically taking double the risk or two trades in one. I only do that if I really, really love it. I love the gap rating. That's of course how I make my picks. I rated this gap on Apple using my 26 point rating system. And that's how I made the determination today that this was a gap to short. And I was right, just took all day, just took all day, but it was really worth it to hold it. So we will see where we go next week in this market. Very interesting times. If you're interested in more information or signing up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.